In today's video, I am going to be comparing ZRE and VRE. They're ETFs and, in my opinion, are some of the best Canadian REIT ETFs. So let's get down, let's compare these two and see which one is better. So the first one we are going to look at is the BMO Equal Weight REIT Index ETF. This is ZRE. And right now, it is sitting up sitting around about $26 per share and its yield is about 4.2%. From there, what's the expense ratio? Well, 0.6% is the expense ratio, which means that roughly every $100, you're gonna be roughly giving BMO about 61 cents. That's not a ton of money considering that mutual funds are really expensive. However, versus other ETFs, this could get pretty expensive. You can get some nice simple SBY style ETFs or something like ZSP that's extremely cheap, but they're not in the REIT space or giving you a high dividend. So it's really up to you at that point. Volume on this one is quite low. However, if you're not going to be buying thousands of shares at the same time, or selling thousands of shares at the same time, there's not really too much to worry about. Next, I also like to look at is the inception, inception date. Of course, we wanna look at that to see if there's a good history on where this ETF has moved. Now, sometimes I do invest in newer ETFs that are only a few months old. However, most of the time, I like to see at least a couple of years worth of information so that I can see, hey, does this have a long record of just losing money? Because at that point, I just wouldn't invest. So if we look at the five-year chart, it's actually quite amazing. It's got a nice straight lineup, of course, some higher and lower points, which of course is expected. However, right now, considering that if you watch that line or if you follow that line, really it should be above 30 bucks right now if it wasn't for the coronavirus. So this is just a temporary, of course, glitch I would say and it should return back and of course go along that trend line in my own personal opinion. Something I do like about this ETF is the fact that it does pay every single month and it's pretty well standardized of course we do have a few months here and there that are a bit higher but that's about it. You're seeing about nine cents per share on average and some of the companies that it does hold is of course summit industries that's a well-known reit real can is a well-known reit as well however that does scare me right now considering that there's more and more people shopping online real can does hold a lot of store real estate so if you ever go to a best buy for example that's not inside of a mall then it's generally going to be a real can property even some malls are real can properties as well so anything Anything like real can sometimes smart centers those two I would be afraid of right now just because of so much more people ordering things online I really do think that the storefront is going to go down to very minimal or very small and of course they're into bigger centers so it's something to really keep in mind now this is one that I have broken down recently, Vanguard, uh, this one is VRE and of course the expense ratio is almost about half, it's 0.38 instead of 0.61 so that is also something to keep an eye on. So it is a bit cheaper of an ETF. Now year to date uh, Vanguard is up 26% while ZRE is only up 24.5% and remember that higher expense ratio we would want this to be higher than of course VRE that because it's got the higher MER we would also want to see the yield being higher but the yield on ZRE is 4.2 while with VRE it is 3.05 so we do see with ZRE or ZRE or whatever you want to call it depending on if you're Canadian or American the yield is higher with ZRE than it is with VRE but VRE's MER is lower again same trend line as what we would see with the ZRE so very similar there pays monthly as well about nine cents 8.8 cents to be exact now it does have a little bit of a different holding I really do like Canadian apartment properties real estate investment trust right now uh, that's 
kind of one of my favorites right now. However, personally, I would never live in an apartment. That's just my own personal choice, though. I feel claustrophobic whenever I'm in one. However, as an investment, pretty strong. But if we were to compare the two, basically, if you're looking to have a higher yield, then of course, ZRE is going to be a better choice than VRE. However, if you're looking for something that will have a lower MER and also give you a higher rate of return or at least hopeful rate of return of course whatever happens in the past is no guarantee for the future but it is still worthwhile looking at things like that so that's my thoughts personally myself i would be leaning towards vre for a few different reasons zre has more businesses more shops more malls than actual apartments and rental units so I would lean towards Vanguard, mainly because I think that there's going to be a lot more businesses, storefronts that are going to go under or have less customers because it's just so much more convenient going to Amazon, eBay, and companies like that, BestBuy.ca, companies like that who have an online presence, Walmart's another one, is just a lot more convenient for people, especially people who are my age who just generally don't like to go outside of their house. But uh, I like to go to the park and play basketball. But, uh, <laughs> but from there, uh, for especially people my age or even younger and maybe a bit older, you're seeing more and more of those people shopping online. And there's going to be probably less storefronts because of that. And that's why I would be leaning away from ZRE. But at the same time, VRE still does hold those companies as well, just at a smaller percentage. I hope that this gives you an idea of what to invest in. Remember, do your own research. Don't just trust a random person online and uh, you just never know their ulterior, ulterior motives or however you say that word. Um, I don't own either one of these ETFs. I just wanted to break it down for you guys, the viewers. So I'll see you guys again in my next video. I personally may be investing in that apartments REIT I was, I was mentioning to you. I'll see you guys next time.